Alright everyone, um, today I'm just going to show you how to get to Moho without maneuver nodes. So, we'll just build something really, really simple that we can get there. So we need uh, propulsion, one of them, and a nuke engine because I'm lazy. You really don't need nukes to get to Moho, but whatever. Um, where are we? Oh yeah, and I'll just put it on my um, standard lifter. That'll do. One and a half orange tanks to moon all, but that's plenty. <laughs> ah, nah, it's a bit ridiculous. Tiny lift will do. And we might just have... Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to top speed. No, we can't. This thing alone has like four and a half kilometers. I mean, if it was just that, you can actually SS2, uh, SSDO with two oranges and a mansell. Swap purposes. And that about there. We need about a two hundred meter burn. Close enough. Alright, um, so we are going to go to Moho, so we want to leave somewhere around this angle. Oh, actually I should check for Moho's alignment. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what I want to do is actually leave on one of the ascending nodes or descending nodes, so you can do your plane transfer straight away so it's cheaper. But with this new engine I don't believe it really matters. So where are we? We want it so my hose orbit's lined up. If I can actually see from my hose orbit. Yeah, 
Getting close. So you want them to be touching. Around there. We're a bit early still, but that's fine. Okay. Now we should be on the... past it. We want to be like here. So what we're doing now, we're leaving on the daytime side so we kind of fling around and go that way. So we slow ourselves down, which is probably close. So, like, fling ourselves off that way. And there's close enough. on Moho's node. Okay. That's going to be... This comes in the end. Lined up. Like so. Because you want to fling yourselves directly out. plane change bent straight away. Now, I said I wouldn't use maneuver nodes, but they make really good camera pivots. There. Backspace. Warp. Go to the node. Ah, I missed it. Oh, well, doesn't matter. When it's Ascending node, you want to bend south. So, 180 on the horizon there. That's um, if you're going 90 degrees. It's like what it is, uh, a normal vector. So we're facing this way. Normal is up. Anti-normal is down. So burn until they're 90 degrees away from you. That's the best you can do. Yeah, it looks perfect. Alright. Uh, something's not right here. Let's have a look. We should have an encounter. Oh, not encounter, sorry. I mean, you should have a, a intersect. Bring it back so it touches. Because they're exactly in line wherever it touches. It'll be around here, and that's where I'm going to meet the planet. want is this white marker here to be roughly kind of around here in front of the planet so we can actually do a retrograde burn and match up its orbit. So this actually is, you need a bit of patience for this bit. If you're going to Elu, this is this way is horrible, but for Moho it's fine. Ah, another one. Actually it looks like another two.
see where this gets us. Hopefully it's close. Nope, wrong side still. Should be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, see how it's slightly in front? That means now we can burn retrograde to catch up with it so we meet here where I am. So, slight retrograde burn. It won't be very much, that'll be only like 100 meters or so. Uh, that noise. <laughs> of Conic's Patch Zero. It burn until it gets the closest. Or not. We can fix the rest of that up when we get a bit closer. Eh, we can fix that. Here's the first good place to adjust your orbit. If you're um, slightly uh, normal or anti normal, this is a good place to do it. Ascending, so let's slightly touch that. Let's also go back to see. I'm not sure if it's um, ahead or behind. Be slightly oh, we don't. ahead or behind target, so we want to go slightly radial in and prograde like that. place to adjust your orbits right before the encounter. So now it's kind of in line. Now I can see I definitely need to go radial in. And retrograde.
south as well, I believe. There we are. I am nearly 100% sure that um, KSP was just lying to me about the encounter. That's, that does not happen. Alright, so yeah, I've kind of messed up here. If it's below the planet, that just means I have to go north. And I have to go slowly east, which would be ready allowed at the moment. There we are. See, that's a lie. Slightly... That'll do. KSP doesn't know what it's on about. There we are. Now I can actually fix it. I'm going for an equatorial orbit. 90, so we can push it out and pop the planet. We want about a 20 kilometer or so. Pop the periaps. Now we need about a 1500 meter burn. I think Moho's orbital velocity is around 700. Periaps and apoapsis 90 degrees away, then you can just fix it. Uh, apoapsis in front, I want to go. Ah, um, still four times. Now we should be in a pretty equatorial orbit, so 45. What? Obviously not. Moho. That was probably my worst tutorial ever. But it just shows that you can't actually get places without using maneuver nodes. Normally they kind of get in the way, like the problem I have with them, if I can just like my ship, is when you add a normal component, it also adds a pro like it, it expects it's an impulse, so it doesn't do that, and then this and that's that's completely wrong. If you burn on your normal line, your orbital velocity won't change. Like, for example, if I just burn north and slightly to the east, no, it's too far. It's around here. That's where my normal is. The orbital velocity shouldn't change. If it's too far retrograde, you need to point prograde. If it's too, like if it's climbing, then you need to point retrograde. But no, it, it shouldn't change. Your apoapsis and periapsis shouldn't change. Anyway, uh, that's all. Have fun.